guys? It's Patriot from Near Famous Gaming here with episode 3 of the Corlin campaign with Empire Total War. Uh, I apologize that this is not a live commentary. However, while I am doing this commentary, I'm holding my cat in my arms uh, because it keeps chewing on my microphone cord. So I'm sorry if uh, you start hearing some <laughs> really staticky noise. My cat's probably punching the microphone thing. Um, <laughs> it's getting pissed off. Okay, so we're going to kick off this video with the invasion of Western Prussia. And what I'm doing is I'm, in bu I'm building up my line infantry, <laughs> my line infantry units, and I'm getting ready to move in to attack. So as you can see, I'm outnumbered by clo <laughs> close to 200 people. <laughs> okay, I'm putting it down. Close to, sorry. Close to 200 people here, and it's going to be a pretty epic battle, probably the largest one in the series so far. Uh, so basically, uh, before the battle, I just got to say a few things. Uh, remember to check out my buddy Tempest Minecraft videos. He's doing a Let's Play series, and he's also going to be doing some hide-and-seek along with Hunger Games. That's going to be really juicy shit. And also, make sure to leave your input about what you think about my videos, and if you have... Excuse me. Any other ideas for games that I should do? I know I have Mountain Blade. I have Arma 2. Uh, I've been an active member in many realism units, and also I've had my own regiments in Mountain Blade. So I know how to play the games. Uh, there's like Daisy stuff like that. If you guys have any other suggestions, let me know, and I would love to do commentaries over the game. So this is probably going to be my last regular commentary. I'm going to start doing them live. I think I fixed my audio. So I know what to do. But anyways, the battle is about to start. And what I've noticed from the enemies so far is that they have a shit ton of calf, a lot of line infantry, and a lot of fortifications. Just like in episode 2, they're using the same cannon fortifications. And it's actually pretty comical how they set it up because it's facing a town, so they're not going to have much range. And also it's fixed, so they can't really move. So, that being said, I'm going to split up my troops into two sections, like I did last time, but it's going to be a lot different. I worked on my timing, and I know exactly what is needed to create a perfect Prussian sandwich, and it's, I mean, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, I don't just do Prussian sandwiches for the funny aspects of it, to make you guys laugh, um... In all honesty, nobody probably laughs because, well, it's not that funny of a joke. But um, it's actually really, really successful if you use it correctly. And my goal is just to flank them and simultaneously hit both ends of the enemy's lines. And not just with a melee charge, but, I mean, with skirmishing. And it works out pretty fine. But what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get ready to engage uh, the enemy's reinforcements because if you can take them out before they get into the battle you're at a great advantage. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to move my other three units of line infantry over to my right flank, and I'm going to take out this civilian unit sitting by the wall, doing its thing, not even facing towards me. But yeah, we'll get rid of them. And uh, I'm going to move my regiment of horse to my left flank because they're stronger, and I'll move my general to my right flank because they can use some you know, inspirational quotes or whatever the hell my general does. I don't know. I've always wondered what he does. So also, uh, guys, if you guys ever want to do a dual commentary or if you guys ever want to play me online, just let me know. Um, I used to run a group with a buddy of mine. I'll give you a link to his channel in the description. And it was called SPQRE. And... <laughs> I made it a couple of years ago, so it sounds a little cheesy, but it was called the Senate and People of Rome Elite. <laughs> I put the E on for the elite. And the group actually grew to 125 people at its peak of last year in May, I believe. And we played a lot of Empire Total War. We also had Joshua Fritz from FSU. Don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but basically the best player in the game. He was supposed to train most of my group, but we ended up disbanding before that could happen. And actually, a lot of tactics that you see me doing today, I actually learned from him. The main one is what you do with campers, because a lot of you guys who play online have the same frustrations with me with people that camp. 
I mean, it's almost in every battle. You start the battle, and they move everyone to the middle, and they just sit and wait for you. So that's basically what the AI is doing right now. They take all the reinforcements, and they move them to the middle. So what you do to that is, you don't move on in the middle and give them the advantage because they're already set up for it. What you do is you split your men into half, and then you attack them from both flanks. That way they have to do a little bit of moving around, and it's going to catch them off guard. So that being said, guys, just let me know what you want to do. Um, I'm thinking when Rome 2 comes out, I'm going to revive my old group, SPQRE, and I'm going to use that for Rome 2, and that is going to be fucking awesome. So I'm not going to be just doing Total War gameplays like I mentioned in the beginning. I'm going to be doing a lot of other games. might actually get on some Minecraft uh, a year ago with the same guy who helped me with SPQRE, we ran a bucket server, and that was really, excuse me, really, really fun. Had a lot of plugins on it. But anyways, guys, back to the battle. We're about to have our first engagement of episode three against the civilian unit, and they get the first shots off and start to run, but it looks like uh, retard mode has kicked in, and they decided to turn around and wait for another volley. Not very smart considering you're going up against organized troops. So my men get some shots off and they start to waver a little bit, but I think they're gonna stick around and play for a little bit longer. So my guys are probably just gonna drop them pretty easily. I'm gonna not move my uh, other units. I don't know why I highlighted them. I thought about moving them, but then the civilian units kind of walked into me, so I decided to shoot. So there we are. You can see me absolutely, oh God, that, that volley was, I just destroyed them. They killed one of my men, and as you as you can see, when my guy kill or got killed, the guy behind him in the second line stepped up and took his place. And usually I fight with three lines, but because I don't have fire by rank technology yet, I'm going to be doing two. So fire by rank means I put them in three lines, and when the first line fires, they kneel. Then the second line fires, then they kneel, then the third line fires. So you get a lot of volleys going in. But since we don't have the technology, I'm using two lines. It spreads the guys out more. I can get more shots off. And if someone dies, the second person in the second line simply steps up and just takes the guy's place. So right now I noticed an enemy regiment of horse is trying to charge me. Not very smart. Uh, AI stupid, once again. So I'm going to counter charge them swiftly and I'm also going to halt my line infantry unit and have them, you know, pop a couple mollies at the enemy. Yes, I purposely said mollies. I don't care what you guys think. So here we go. Uh, just absolutely owned. I mean, they're not going to be able to do much. They're wavering. Just a, it was a stupid charge in the first place. Um, if you guys ever go on to campaign mode and practice for online, don't do it because you're not going to get any practice. The battles are ridiculously easy. But what the hard thing is, is keeping up with everything once your territory gets huge. And my plans for my uh, series is to actually get pretty big with Coraline. Coraline's a pretty small country, that's why I like using it. So I want to get them big. So we got this skirmish going on on my right flank against an enemy line infantry unit. I'd say I'm at the advantage because I have more shots due to my wider lines. However, they have better cover as they are on a downhill slope. So we're going to shift back to the left flank. And the enemy general is charging me. What is he thinking? Going to counter charge once again with my regiment of horse unit. And it had quite a bit of effect. So right now the enemy is shifting and I'm going to move up while they're moving just to and do some more panic. I don't know if you guys read any of Sun Tzu's Art of War book, but he talks a lot about uh, ways to win, and one of the ways is inducing panic within the enemy's ranks in fear. You want to get them to panic a little bit. I don't know if the AI in this game is smart enough to feel panic, but it sure as hell looks like it because they are completely clusterfucked in the middle of the map. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're playing a massive game of Duck Duck Goose, but they're just running in circles. Um, Actually, it's pretty laughable. My guys are just kind of just staring there like, what the fuck are they doing? Okay, so I'm going to angle my line of tree unit and put two on one on my right flank because that is just a prolonged skirmish. And look what we have here. Mr. General is running away from the battle. Let's see if we can chase him down. While I'm doing that, I'm going to move these line of tree units back in the position that I need them in. 
And we can get this Prussian sandwich kicked off. Okay, we'll get them running into their position throughout the town. I want them spaced out. I want to widen the enemy's ranks. Um, once again, they're just going to camp in the middle. But what they can't do is they can't turn around and fire at both sides. So what they're going to do is they're probably just going to end up facing one way and get shot at the back. I'm kind of pissed off that general got away. I wanted to kill him. But oh well, he's routed, and that's going to induce some fear in the enemy's ranks. Alright. So we got this massive skirmish going on on my right flank. And because I moved in that other unit of line infantry, I'm really starting to drop these guys like flies. I mean, I'm just moving across the screen here, and they're just dropping dead. Here we go. I believe we've wavered them. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty good. So I'm going to re-angle my guys back into position here in the middle. But we might be halted by an enemy cav charge. So we're going to get back just to see if we can get into position soon enough. It looks like they've stopped. That's good for us. So now I'm going to do this little risky move here and move up. What I'm trying to get the enemies to do is I'm trying to get them to focus on one direction. I'll hit them from the back. Then once they turn around, I'll move up with my other side. And then I'll hit them from the back again. So I think this, yeah, this regiment of horse units going to charge at me. I'm in pretty pathetic formation, but I'm just going to halt my guys to see if I can pop up some shots and maybe counter charge with my general. So I got a couple of shots off at them. Didn't have much effect. I'm going to start the counter charge right now, and then I'm going to move my other line of shooting unit to help out the general. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, the other two units are going to move on the far, far right of the other enemy's flank. So while I'm doing that, let's go back to our left flank. Once we check out this charge, put them on the way. Doesn't look like that 7th Regiment of Foot's going to come back to haunt me, so I'm going to go over to the other side after I watch this skirmish. So here we are on our left flank. Got a small skirmish going on with an enemy failed charge. Don't know what they're doing, but I'm just going to cut them up with my volleys. And I'm going to move these two units closer in once I see what my other guys are doing. And it looks like my right flank is in position. They're just now getting in there. And there we have it. The enemy is moving. You can see they're shifting right now. This is the perfect time to move. And now I'm going to move into position for the attack. Okay, we have an enemy counter charge. They came back from the dead. Always comes to haunt me. Don't know why. I'll get my general out of there. But this Prussian unit is going to go to hell this time. I swear I'm going to kill them all. While I'm doing that, uh, the enemy is clusterfucked once again. So I'm going to move in my right flank into attack mode. As you can see, this vicious skirmishing going on with my left flank. But my two line of tree units are mistakenly out of the battle. I need to move them up very, very swiftly or else it's going to fall to crumbles can see I'm trying to move my men into the town in a position so they can skirmish with the enemy. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my regiment of horse and just break the ranks. Right now, they're just running in circles, the AI, because they're being hit from both sides simultaneously. They're prepared for a skirmish. Well, not really prepared, but they're skirmishing. They're not prepared for a charge. So once this uh, cavalry charge comes in, it's just going to shatter their men. I'm going to try not necessarily to route everyone, but to occupy them, to buy my men time to move in. I still have a couple of units trying to move into position, and that charge had a lot of effect on the enemy line infantry unit. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this regiment of horse unit, and I'm going to try to get them to move over to the cannons, because I'm occupying three units of infantry currently. So here we are. You can see they're moving over to the cannons now. That's going to be the fourth unit I've occupied. And I'm moving up all of my men while this is happening. This is occupying a lot of the men on the enemy team. And I'm buying myself a lot of time. Now I'm going to move to this fifth line infantry unit and see if I can occupy them from the back. As you can see, they've stopped volleying against the unit at the bottom of your screen. And now I'm just going to get in a position and light them up. Meanwhile, on the left side of the battle, I have the enemies caught in a vicious crossfire. It's about a five on three. 
and they are being hit from both sides and wow they are just really dropping like flies in the middle you can see a little bit of a melee going on but the enemy is probably not excuse me not gonna have much effect on my guys because their morale is already shattered so I'm gonna get my regiment horse out of there I save them successful charge I'm gonna route that unit so now I'm going to bring my regiment of horse units back in for a second charge. I've routed the whole left side of the battlefield. And I'm going to move up most of my men. Probably just going to do a straight up bonsai charge here. Minus the bayonets and the um, other Japanese shit that goes along in that bonsai charge. And uh, we're just going to have this giant Prussian 12 inch, 24 inch, whatever the hell you want to call it, sub from Subway in the middle of the battlefield. <clears throat> and uh, I started a route basically everyone. The only unit I have left is the one right there near the right of your screen behind the fortifications. I mean, not really fortifications when you're surrounded. But they're just going to sit there, and I'm going to move everyone, and I mean every single moving body, or I mean, I mean if you got your leg blown off, who cares? You're going to charge. Epic leaps of faith by my general over there. Swoops in right when everything's going well. And everyone has started to route a courageous victory for Corlin. And this will mark the th uh, second territory that Corlin has captured. So now I've added two assets to my country through this entire series, East Prussia and West Prussia. These will bring me a tremendous amount of income. Uh, one in East Prussia is the port, an upcoming port, which will I soon will convert into a trade port once I get enough population. And now in West Prussia, a wealthy city that I have just earned the rights to own through the capturing of West Prussia. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 3 of the Empire Total War Cooling Campaign series. More from the Empire Total War series coming soon. Please show us some love by commenting, liking, and subscribing. It's been a pleasure to upload these videos for your entertainment purposes, guys. I really do enjoy the feedback that you guys give me. Please share with your friends and help my channel out. We want to expand. Also, remember, don't forget to check out my buddy Tempest Minecraft videos. He makes some killer videos, and they're pretty entertaining to watch. So that being said, guys, episode 4 coming soon. But for now... This is all. This is Patriot from Near Famous Gaming, signing off.